<laughs> I am online once again! Tremble World before my electric cherub of doom! And let's play X-Razor! For the Super Nintendo as well as the Nintendo Wii Virtual Console. I'm H.C. Bailey, and I am God. In the game, that is. This is a prequel to the Soul Blazer trilogy, although it's not really part of the same series, but it has a lot of the same uh, plot elements. Uh, the sound effects are virtually identical to Soul Blazer, so if you played that and you want to check this out, yeah, you'll, you'll recognize a lot of this stuff, or vice versa. So, I mean, I really... I like this game. One reason is because uh, it's a bizarre combination of two genres that you wouldn't think would work well together. You start out with the action platforming in the game, but then you transition into a sim mode, which is basically kind of like SimCity, but immensely simplified. But it still really works between the two of them. It's, you wouldn't think those two genres would ever get together in the same game, but it does. So. Now, speaking of sim mode, just so you know, this will be a max population run of the game. So, uh, if you want to play ahead of me, I would recommend the max population guide on GameFAQs. That's the one that I'm using. But, uh, yeah, that's basically how I'm going to follow along here. So, let's start a new game and put that info to use. Yeah, one thing that's a little weird about the controls is that the B button is confirmed and the Y button is canceled, as opposed to A and B, respectively, like almost every other game. But, oh well. I was going to name myself H.C. Bailey, since there's exactly eight letters available for your name, but I thought I'd do something a little more classy than that. Lelouch. I don't think there's an E at the end of it. Eh, <laughs> BS button. Okay, yeah, end, and we're done. Yes! I'm finally free! Soon my work will be complete. Soon the world will burn in nuclear fire. Soon I Wait, what? Oh. They already destroyed the world. Oh. Well then. Fuck! That really puts a damper on God's mood. Oh well. No use crying over spilled Armageddon. Where was I? Oh yeah. Soon the world will burn in nuclear fire! Again! But yeah, in this game, well, we're essentially God. I mean, they call you the master, but it's just a censoring job. Same thing with the devil, he's called Chandra. I am shocked that they, they left in the words demon and faith and angel in the game. I mean, holy cow. I mean, you'd figure if they were going to censor it, they'd go all the way, but they don't. Let's uh, reduce the me or, yeah, re or increase the message speed to instantaneous there. Pagus log, that's where you save the game. Same sound effect as Soul Blazer there. Let's see, these aren't important to us yet. This is where you go to fight some monsters or select a magic spell. We don't have any magic yet. Uh, we can't observe the people because no one's around. The world's destroyed. You could also go around to other towns like this from your sky palace thing, I guess. But you can't fight the monsters there because you're not strong enough. They have a level, a uh, minimum level requirement in order to do all that stuff. So yeah, we're gonna have to start here, and really there's no reason to go to a, a more advanced town right now. So let's go around here, fight all the monsters, and save the world. May the force be with you. Let's get ready to humble! I'll be a little quiet for the music here, viewers. Yeah, kick ass! Yeah, I love the music in this game. It's got a nice rock and beat and everything. What more could you want? I think it's the this is the best level one music ever in video games. It's that good to me. Whoa! Giant monkeys. Space monkeys? No. No, just ordinary monkeys. But anyway, yeah, there's a little thing there, but uh, we can't reach it yet. If only there were a way to get up there. Dun, 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 
And I screwed up my jump. Freddy Krueger, is that you? Kind of looked like him to me. So yeah, watch out for the birds. Not as uh, deadly as the Castlevania birds, but you take what you can get. Nuts. Whatever. So anyway, one thing with getting a max population run, and they don't really tell you this in the game, but in order to do it, you have to... Well, your score contributes to your population. Your, your score in the uh, action mode is... Uh, it increases your max population. Or what you the number of people that you can get. So what I want to do here is run up the score. So you saw where I got that one up? Basically what I'm going to do is go around, back and forth, over and over and over again, jack up my score, and I'll be right back until I have enough points to get maximum population here. Okay, we're back. And uh, as you can see, this thing respawned because when you die, uh, all those things respawn. I don't know what they're called. The music and the action in this game kind of has a Castlevania vibe to it. But anyway, uh, if you're if you were going to get the score up to fifteen thousand, which is what I want, uh, you don't want to jump down here like I just did now because the second half, well, the first there's a checkpoint there, and the second half of the area doesn't have quite as many enemies as the first half does. So I like using the first half of the dungeon to or the area to uh, do stuff like that. Now you could take that log down like I did before. Or you could jump down here and get a one-up. All right. Damn it. Freaking Castlevania birds. No. No, these birds are not nearly as uh, deadly as those. Yeah, look at that tree. Looking all badass and everything. Carrying God around. Who do you think you are, Atlas? Uh, I thought there was something up here. Maybe I'm thinking of uh, later on. Oh, there it is. Okay. You can jump on top of the tree, too. Yeah. Sorry, I just love the music too much. Here's... Okay, so... It's boss time! So this guy, he's gonna charge at you with his lands, because I guess he likes to joust. So basically what you want to do is stand about right here, get three, four, maybe five strikes if you're really good, and back off whenever he uses his lightning. Once he has you backed up against the wall like that, he's not gonna use his lance much anymore. Let's see, we got six left. Well, yeah, if he's going to charge at you with his lance, duck. Whoa. <laughs> Flawless victory. So anyway, uh, when I did the grinding there for the points, where I was killing the enemies over and over and over again, you want to get up to 15,000, so that way, after you kill the boss... And get over here, you'll get over about 20,600 points, which is what I think you need in order to get uh, max population. Uh, just so you know, you max population is not necessary at all to beat the game. In fact, I think you can get up to max level without max population. I mean, it's not that critical, but I'm just doing it just to kind of show you. I think it could make life more interesting. Or, well, make the game more interesting. Life in the game, that is. So... Sounds like a plan. Now we're in Sim mode. It's basically like Sim City, except more death. We got Sim City, and uh, basically we got monsters flying around who are trying to kill our people. So we've got to protect them, so that way they'll believe in me. Sounds like a plan. Yeah, uh, the people are the only ones who can seal the monster layers. We can't do that ourselves, unfortunately. There's too many of them. Oh, huh? well, okay, let's take a look around then. It is your destiny. Sounds like a plan. Let's go. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're going to get this message every now and then. Well, okay. Since I can't kill you, I might as well... I guess I have to listen to your inane questions. What do you want me to do? I'm just a little cherub. I'm, I'm a death ray with a bow and arrow, but... Well, okay, I'll do it. As soon as I figure out how to tap into the main reactors, I will burn the world! First thing you want to do is direct the people to the monster layer. So you press this area, you go up, and over here, that's monster layer. 
and then we want to go back this way to get to that monster lair. You can only guide the people eight tiles away from wherever they are now, so you want to watch out for that. Now what I want to do is use lightning in order to uh, burn down the bushes here and kill the monsters. I guess the lightning can kill the monsters too. Now all these uh, miracles that you can do cost SP or spell points. Uh, yeah, you got different abilities, you can make it rain, sun, wind. Earthquake is really powerful, but it costs a lot, so you want to watch, you want to use them to your advantage. Now, in order to regenerate SP, you have to kill enemies, or seal monster layers, or gain a level. So there's lots of different ways that you can do that. And these monsters just spawn over and over again, because, well, there's a lot of them. Whoa. See, if you press the B button on the monster layer, if I can... Yeah, uh, it shows you how many enemies are in there. So, yeah, it's going to take a long time before we can uh, kill all of them. Well, watch out, man. Well, so far, so good. Oh, I need to be using my lightning more often. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Damn it. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, good. See all the monster there, then. Okay, get into the menu, get into the menu. Yes! Okay. I want to use lightning before I seal that monster lair, so that way I can use the SP before it's automatically refilled. Come on, can I get in my menu again? Hey! Where do you think you're going? Nuts. Yeah, he was trying to... That bat there was cr trying to carry away the people. But, uh, he didn't get away with it. So, yeah, that other guy, the blue dragon there, was trying to, uh, lightning the house. Don't worry if you don't succeed in protecting all your people, uh, they'll eventually breed more of them or reincarnate or whatever, I don't know. But anyway, yeah, for uh, sealing that monster lair, we get an item, so let's check it out. Uh, first thing I want to do is direct the people now. I'll fill out the map later. I think the first priority has to be to uh, seal the monster lairs, because that's where all the problems are coming from. Let's see, let's take an offering that we got here. Ooh, we got a bomb. You know, I wasn't planning on using this, but eh, let's show it off. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of bombs in the game. It basically wipes out every enemy on the map all at once. So let's see, okay. Okay, we got three of them there. So let's use the offering of the bomb. Ha ha ha! Yeah, they're probably better saved for later in the game, but I hardly use them anyway. So, yeah, not a huge fan of the bombs. Oh, I keep on forgetting to use my lightning. I'm, I'm getting so caught up. Sure, why not? Uh, okay. Oh, wow. Um, okay, I'll check it out. I'll start uh, burning down the woods there then. So yeah, let's keep on going. There's not too many trees to burn down. You can to burn down these, I think they're called coniferous trees, with your lightning, so don't even bother trying. Oh yes, the sweet smell of burning lumber, the sparking lightning. I fucking live for this! No, no just kidding, viewers. But I do like doing that. Ah, uh, let's see what I can do. Where's, oh, there they are. Man, this guy's lightning all my houses. Okay, come on, get in there. Get in there before they seal the monster there. Good. I want to use up my SP before they seal it, so that way I can get my full SP restored. So basically, all you got to do is get the people next to the monster there, and then they'll seal it away for you. So, all right. Uh, uh, uh. Huh? Oh. I missed that. Whatever. But anyway, now I want to direct them again. So let's direct them here first. When you've already built on an area, the people will move very, very quickly to get back here. Now what I want to do is move all the people down here to get to that monster there. Oh yeah, by the way, I know what you're thinking, dears. H.C. Bailey. What would happen if your cherub uh, ran out of life? Well, honestly, I don't exactly know. 
I think what happens is you're essentially disabled for a little while. I mean, you don't die, but you, uh, like, you can't fire your arrows anymore. And the monsters basically have free reign over terrorizing the people. Until you get some life back. Like, maybe they, uh... Uh, like, you all, you seal a monster lair, or something else happens that restores your life. There's no items that do that, so to speak. It's lightning this area, like the lady was kind of telling us about. Oh, okay. What's in there? Let's check it out. Oh, really? Oh, thanks a lot. I'll, uh, I'll take that from you then. Thanks. Let's, uh, see what we got here. Yeah, people making offerings to God in this game. How did this get through the censoring? But anyway, this is our first magic spell in the game. The magical fire. As opposed to the real fire. No. No. Uh, okay, I can't do anything else there, so. Now we just pretty much want to kill the monsters and keep them from killing us, I guess. Hmm, how can we get past that river? If you try building to the river, uh, you can't get past it right now. Uh, just so you know, if you're going for max population, do not build next to the river at first, at least. Ah, so yeah, since we got more points in the uh, action stages, it gave us more population, which in turn gives us more levels, which in turn gives us more HP for other action levels. It's kind of like dungeon raiding in an MMO, where you just do you do it to get the best items, but then you just use the best items to raid more. So, I've never actually done a dungeon raid, like in an MMO or World of Warcraft or something like that. Oh yeah, when you gained uh, a level, it also in increased your SP. So, but I want to lighten this. Haha! Alright. Well, we're doing pretty good so far. What do you mean, without our help? We did it without our own help! Uh, maybe they're just trying to be humble and saying we could only do it with your strength or something like that. Or it just could be that they just fucked up the typos or something. I don't know. Oh, okay, that sounds pretty good. You want some weapon schematics? I can show you some fucking weapon schematics. You want a superheated angel's arrow? I can hook that shit up! What's going on? Oh, okay, yeah, now they can go across bridges there. Sounds like a plan. I'll uh, direct you there, then. Gotta use the faith. So now what I want to do is I'm going to fill out all the rest of these areas. So we'll get started on that. Meanwhile, we will just... There's only one monster layer left. So I'm just going to sit here for a little while. Let's see, let's get bridges so that way I can uh, give them to other towns so that they can build bridges. So, yeah, there we go. And I also want to get the Strength of Angel. Uh, again, you could save this for later. It's probably more useful there, but I actually do like the Strength of Angel, and well, I want to show it off a little bit there. So let's see what we got here. Let's use the Strength of Angel. Basically, it improves the power of your arrows. If you can actually aim. It won't make them automatically aim. It's not a patriotic arrow. Or a patriot arrow. So anyway, now they're building more around here. Th that is one of the nice things about this game, is that if you don't like Sim games like that, like SimCity or something like that, uh, they really don't require you to worry about where to build houses, or how to do taxes, or how to manage income, or anything like that. So, I mean, it's basically move around here and focus on the action. Keep the monsters from destroying your city and direct them, direct the people to where you want them to go. Oops, I missed. Or did I? No, I missed, I missed. So, anyway, let's direct around here. No, it's a little too close. But, oh. Eventually, the angel's arrow will run out. It does not last forever. I don't know what the 
requirement or how long it lasts, though. I, I don't know if it's based on the number of arrows you shoot or a certain amount of time has to pass. I don't know. But anyway, all right, we gained another level. Because, yeah, you gain levels by the number of people you have in your city there. Nuts. Oh. Oh, good for you. Do you want me to lightning the fish for you, too? Oh. Oh, well, okay. Yeah, I'm going to be going for a bit of length on this episode, just so I can show you or give you a reasonable, good sample of what the game has to offer there. Like, I want to show you an action se sequence and a sim mode sequence. Quit moving! So yeah, most episodes I'm probably going to keep down to 10 to 15 minutes, but for a premiere, well, I want to make it a little longer, so that way if you guys are interested, well, you'll, you'll see what the game's about. If you're not, well, then... Oh, well. Ah, okay. Maybe that's what she was talking about when she f said she felt something holy in the woods. Did they use the word holy there? I didn't think about that. I, I wasn't really paying attention to that at the time, but, you know, when, like, Final Fantasy VI is censoring holy for pearl instead of light or, some or holy or something other that would make more sense, it seems kind of odd that they wouldn't censor holy here. Maybe Squaresoft was just more paranoid. I don't know. So anyway, let's direct them there. Move around here. Oh, crap. Uh, I don't want to go there. Okay, phew. I almost screwed up there. Wouldn't be able to get max population then. Okay, so let's get around here and kill these guys. Kill more of them. Hmm. Okay, now what, what you want to do if you want to get max population Go left here, then straight up, parallel to the river. You do not want to go into the river, because what will happen then is uh, they'll build, automatically build a bridge across the river. And the thing is that the way max population works is it's based on, it's not so much based on your population, but the number of structures that you can build in an area, or a town, for example. I think the limit is 128. And if you build bridges here, those count towards the structure. Uh, the roads don't count, but... Well, you know what I mean. So basically, you want to minimize... In order to get max population, you need a score of at least 20,600 for now, I think. I think that's the number. And then you need to build as few bridges as possible. Eventually, I will fill out the map better. Damn it! Damn my poor aim! Oh well. They'll get around to getting up and around there sooner or later. Good? Awesome. Whoa! Well, we've almost got this whole place filled out. But eventually what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the people around to fill out all the roads. Not because I actually need to do that. But just because I'm OCD like that, and it kind of bothers me that I don't have many uh, horizontal roads, or er, roads. Where we're going, we don't need roads. Ha! Staffed you just in time. Just so you know, all the other miracles that uh, you can do in the game, uh, they all have a specific purpose for the plot or advancing the game. So, uh, yeah, it's not like you just use them just for no reason. You actually do have to use them. So, all right, we gained another level. Awesome. Should be able to get over 700. Oh, I need to uh, build or direct the people. Just like I direct you, viewers. Don't lightning them. Thank you. So basically what you want to do with uh, maxing out your population from here. Hold on. Okay, from here, you want to go straight south. You'll create one bridge, because you're going to have to do that. Go down here. You do not want to go straight left to the monster lair, or else it'll create a horizontal road here, which will create a bridge over the river there, and that'll reduce your max population. 
So what you want to do is go... Oops. Well, walk the way I did. This guy's a little too fast for me. So you go down, down, up, left, down. That way, you won't trigger creating another bridge until you get max population anyway. So, yeah, that's pretty much the, the trick to getting max population in this area. Most towns aren't that tricky to get max population. But uh, this one, because you got the bridges and everything, well, you kind of need them. There's a couple towns that have bridges, but most of them don't. So I, I wouldn't worry about that. Ha ha ha! Oh. I'm taking you with me! All right. Yeah, without our help. So anyway, uh, when you improve your civilization level, it improves the types of housing that you can build in your town there. Hmm, what's going on? Huh? What's going on? Well, you should be afraid. I am the scourge of all cherubs and the boogeyman that keeps lesser demons awake at night. Oh, well, that's a big demon. Okay. Well, I'll see what I can do there. Oh, nuts. So yeah, that's the monster we were looking for, the boss. Like a boss. Okay, well, now what we can do is you can go back to the Sky Palace and fight the monsters again. You'll go through another action sequence, and then you'll... Uh, well, fight the boss of... Oh, damn it. That wasn't what I wanted to do. What I want to do is destroy all the houses here. It's just like SimCity. Once you build a city, the only thing left to do is destroy it and watch it burn, right? No, no, there actually is a practical reason why I am doing this. Because all these houses here are like, well, in, yeah, all these houses here are level two houses, or some above are probably level one houses. And you can't just destroy them. So, well, you can, with lightning. Real lightning! No. No. But, uh, yeah, in the first town, that's pretty much what you gotta do if you wanna get max population. So that way they'll build level 3 houses, and then they'll give you, well, more population. That They can hold more people than other, than level 1 or 2 houses there. Uh, the, if, you ha if you have enough spell power, you could use the Earthquake, and that'll wipe out any level 1 or 2 houses. Level 3 houses are Earthquake proof. But, uh, not level 1 or 2 houses. So it'll do that instantly, but that costs 160 SP. So there's not a whole lot I can do about that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to fast forward as I try to uh, recover my SP for lightning these houses. One other thing you want to keep in mind when you're trying to uh, max out your population here, once you've covered every single tile in the area, you want to uh, stay in that lower left corner there. Do not direct the people to move anywhere else or you'll probably build a bridge across the river there. So you don't want to do that right now. So just leave them there, wait until you get max population, and then you can move around. You can even move towards the river if you want, and you simply won't be able to build a river because you've hit max structures already. So... Yeah, so just stand pat there. You know, there is one thing I was thinking about in this town here. Uh, there is an event that can happen here where... One of the houses accidentally gets set on fire or whatever, and they pray to God to deal with the fire for them. So if that does happen to you, viewers, uh, that's one of the events that can stop your population growth until it's dealt with. So what you do is you have to use the rain uh, miracle on them. Or, well, on the fire, and then they'll be fine. And then the cherub is like, yeah, the people are just being negligent, and then they expect you to solve all their problems for you. But don't you think that's just the cutest thing? <laughs> no! 
What is wrong with you, Cherub? Yeah. Sorry I couldn't show that. It just didn't happen. It seems to happen at random. I I'm not exactly sure what's the trigger. Maybe because one of those blue dragons destroyed a house. It stopped that from happening. Uh, I don't know. So basically, once you've killed all the monsters, in or, the or sealed all the monster lairs in an area, then you pretty much can just wait around until you get max population and they keep on building houses for you. Unfortunately, there is no way to increase the speed of the game. This is being all done in post-production here, viewers. And it's not like SimCity where you could increase the speed at which the game plays. And even then, it was really slow. I, mean, I played SimCity and SimCity 2000, but uh, not too much. Uh, well, not nothing since then. So it just seemed to get too big and complex and tedious to me. I don't know. Maybe that's just me, viewers. But yeah, you saw there when I gained that level after I passed 700 population, uh, I got all my SP restored, so I was able to lightning all the rest of the houses there. All right, there we go. We got max population now, 906. Uh, it's not the absolute max, it's just the max population you can get in Act 1. Uh, once we complete Act 2, we'll be able to further improve the uh, population there. So, we're not quite done yet, viewers. we still got another action sequence to go through and a boss fight there. Can't wait to take him down. Soon, pitiful worms. Soon I will rule, and your lives will have their doneness setting turned to... Darkest. Next time on Let's Play Act Razor. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.